In this video, I will show you how to add code to your Red 5 application. So the first thing we want to do is to add a new class, and that new class will extend application adapter. So first, right-click on your Red 5 project, select New, then click on Class. And for the package name, you can choose anything you want, but it's probably best if you use the same package name you chose when you created this application on the command prompt. And I used com.testapp. And for the name of the class, you can name it anything you want, but the convention is to use application with an uppercase A. And for the superclass, we need to use application adapter, so click on browse, then type in org.red5.server.adapter. And you can choose between application adapter or multi-threaded application adapter. And most of the time you're going to want to choose multi-threaded application adapter so that your application can accept multiple connections at the same time. So click on multi-threaded application adapter and click OK. Then click Finish. And now it has created a new class called Application and it extends multi-threaded application adapter and it's in the com.testapp package. And you can override any of the methods in multi-threaded application adapter class, but you don't have to. And any function that you add in this class can be accessed from your client application. So if I want to add a new function called add, then this add function can be accessed from my client application with syntax that would look like this. nc.call, I would pass the name of the function, which would be add. I would pass it a response handler object, and I would pass it parameters so I would pass it 2 and 3, and then it would return 5. And this NC would be a net connection object. And this is the syntax I would use on the client side to call this add function in the application adapter class. Now we need to open the web INF folder and open the red5-web.xml and look at this web.handler bean and make sure that this path references your class that extends application adapter. So this part should be the package and this part should be the name of the class. So if you look at my application adapter class, the package is com.testapp and the name is application. So it should be com.testapp.application and that's what it is now, so I can just leave it. Um, this, by default, will be the package that you typed in when you created this application on the command prompt, and this, by default, will be application. But just make sure that this matches the package and the name of the class for your application adapter. Also notice that if you expand the Java Resources folder, you'll see the package we created and the application class that we created. Now open red5-web.properties and this context path equals test app. By convention this will be the same as the project name and this will also be the name that we use to connect from our client app. We will use rtmp localhost slash test app and this test app will be the same as our context path. Also if you open web.xml you'll see the test app there and there and you'll also see it in the log.xml and all these things need to match so it's best just to leave them alone. And one more thing if you click on one of these XML files and it looks like this, 
this is pretty hard to work with. So if you click on the Source tab, it will be easier to work with and to modify the XML.